The majority of the time, so when we talk about like climate change, we tend to focus on what is the government doing, what is you know the bodies that are responsible for the same, what are they doing to make sure that we reverse this, but we don't really treat, um, you know focus on ourselves. What can we do to also bring about the change that is needed? So then again, why are we then advocating more about gender um, quality or equality when it comes to climate actions? Yeah, I, I think that there are also quite a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. One of it is that uh, when you look at, at the inequalities itself, mm -hmm. uh, globally, regionally, and even in the country, mm -hmm. um, first of all, at the global level, mm -hmm. uh, you know, developed countries are not playing uh, to what they're supposed to do in mm -hmm. terms of helping in adaptation and mitigation <coughs> when mm -hmm. it comes to climate change. Mm -hmm. That is one. But two, even uh, there are inequalities involved at the regional and at the continental and the country level. Mm. But what is important for us to know is mm -hmm. that women constitute majority of the population. Yes. And statistics have shown that they are the most hard hit in terms of poverty. Mm. And if that is true then, mm -hmm. what it means every other, um, every other climate related shocks mm. are not absorbed as much, I mean, I do not have much shock absorbers when mm -hmm. it comes to women as related to men. Mm -hmm. So interestingly, when you see at the position of decision making, when it comes to issues we have talked about what we are doing, mm -hmm. uh, in, when it comes to positions of decision making, mm -hmm. and who is being included, and who is providing solutions, mm -hmm. uh, v you know, all these climate action plans and policies mm -hmm. have shown that women are not at the center mm -hmm. and therefore their expertise in terms of knowledge or now you can combat climate change mm -hmm. is not taken into consideration okay. and therefore it's increasingly becoming important that women are given the driver's seat mm -hmm. in terms of ensuring that their views are gotten on board mm -hmm. that is one their knowledge and expertise are also included mm -hmm. and also in terms of acceptability of the solutions yeah. remember uh, women engage much more in natural resources activities than men Mm -hmm. when it comes to production mm -hmm. and the knowledge and expertise that they have mm -hmm. are, are actually considered as actors and drivers of change when mm -hmm. it comes mm -hmm. to providing solutions to, to, things, to, to yeah. all these uh, mm -hmm. climate change effects that yeah. we are talking about. Yeah. So increasingly whether, whether you look at it from all these areas that you're talking about, mm -hmm. including technology, mm -hmm. you know, the acceptability of clean technology and clean energy and renewable energy Mostly must by include women. women. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So then understanding the importance of women in all this, right? Why is it that still <laughs> they are not included in as much as, of course, they are at the center. They have all, um, you know, like they're creative in terms of then mitigating some of the effects that is brought about by climate change. But still, years later, women are not included. Why is that? Yeah, um, these are the discussions that we usually have even at the Global Climate Conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these um, decisions have to start at the national level. Yeah. Because um, at the decision-making, high-level decision-making um, uh, conferences, we send representatives from key departments to represent our countries. Mm -hmm. And so if we, first of all, if we don't have women leadership mm -hmm. in these key roles, mm -hmm. that means they will first of all miss out yes. in... Um, sitting in that table of mm -hmm. decision making because they are not taking leadership roles mm -hmm. or positions starting at the national level. Okay. And that is why we see, um, even when we at this um, big con climate conference in terms mm -hmm. of decision making, mm -hmm. we find that 70% of the attendees and the negotiators are men. Mm -hmm. And um, this is where then um, we find that most of the key decisions that um, uh, women are supposed to be part of in terms of saying, okay, this technology is good, mm -hmm. but um, from our experience, we can improve it this way mm -hmm. to ensure that it meets the needs of the women at the local level, mm. the, the needs of the girls at the local level. This is usually missing. Mm. Another aspect is that when we do our programs, we do not include our gender budgets, like mm -hmm. budgets that directly go into empowering women and girls, okay. like our projects that speak directly to training and empowering women and girls on their key role mm -hmm. in terms of climate change, mm -hmm. because first of all, our communities need to understand what is climate change, mm -hmm. how is it impacting them, mm -hmm. and what can they do, because um, 
we all of us have a role to play in terms mm -hmm. of climate change. Mm -hmm. But of course, um, we always hold the rich, the developed countries more responsible because they mm -hmm. contribute to this problem by uh, developing through the use of um, dirty energy that is coal. Yeah. And right now in these climate negotiations, we want to, we are transforming uh, mm -hmm. from uh, coal energy to clean energy. So they have a role to support developing countries mm. to adapt and build their resilience to climate change by providing finance. Mm. So some of these finances, they are not also targeted directly to women-led institutions mm. or women-led um, organizations. Mm. We, or we are advocating for directly as resources to target our women mm -hmm. locally led organizations mm -hmm. to build their capacity mm -hmm. and give them an opportunity to be able to make decisions within that community area where they're working mm -hmm. and coming up with innovative uh, projects and programs that uh, really speak to their needs. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about climate change and um, locally led adaptation initiatives, mm -hmm. this is where we want to see like women and girls and boys, even men, taking lead in terms of coming up with activities that they want to implement. So if you want to implement a project in Marsabit, in Garissa, any part of the country that wants to address climate change, mm. very important to speak to these people at the local level. Okay. And, and here we are always emphasizing to have women and girls as well to tell mm. you this is the problem mm. and this is how we can solve it. Okay. You'd think what is a problem in a certain community, but that is not their priority. True. They have another issue maybe that they would like to address, uh, maybe a market uh, on how they can sell their produce, mm -hmm. how they can get their produce to the market on time before they get spoiled. Mm. So um, these are the gaps that we have that still mm. we have not been able to efficiently mm. involve women in this kind of negotiations. Mm -hmm. But we are making progress. We're not saying that nothing has yeah, been done. Nothing has <laughs> um, we can not say all the work we are doing is going down the drain, yeah. but uh, we are making, we, we are seeing progress. We are seeing, um, like Rwanda in, in mm. African countries, it's among the leading African countries in terms of um, in, incorporating women in their leadership and mm. other initiatives. Mm. Uh, for us in Kenya, we saw how long it took the two thirds gender rule to go Absolutely. through. Absolutely, and still, uh, still, still a problem. Still a problem, problem. as yes. much as we do have the, the policy. Mm. So it's an issue also of, um, culture and uh, how we portray this mm -hmm. but also we need to deliberately and uh, intentionally want to have women at the at the center of decision making mm -hmm. so at the county level we need to have women uh, uh, at least sitting in some of these key community co committees yeah. on environment mm -hmm. at the world level at the national level at the at the parliament level because mm -hmm. when we are talking about climate change it starts at the local level yes and i was about the, to ask the same yeah when it then there are the um, different level, stages yes. that link to the global level so mm -hmm. if they are missing from the word go at the community level mm -hmm. they will definitely miss at the global level where the decisions are being made absolutely